The Dirt Show. Here's the key point. Uh, the indictment charges that Donald Trump knew, knew, and believed that he had actually lost the election. How's the government going to prove that? He never said that to anybody. He never wrote that anywhere. Did he ever think it? I don't know. Uh, did he say it on a phone call that was illegally overheard? I doubt it. I, mean, I have spoken to President Trump about this. I think he's wrong. I think he lost the election fair and square. Now, I'm not talking about the influence of Russia and all kinds of things external, but in terms of the counting of the votes, just that's what I'm talking about now. I think he lost Georgia. I think he lost Arizona. And I think he lost enough states so that Joe Biden was officially and correctly elected president of the United States. It's not a crime to disbelieve that. In fact, the indictment says that it's not a crime to, to uh, speak about that and to oppose it. Um, but if he believed it, if he honestly believed it, if he talked himself into it, even if he was wrong, if he believed it, if he thought he had won the election, then everything he's accused of doing is protected by the First Amendment, by Article Two of the Constitution, by the Twelfth Amendment. People often ask me who manages my social media reels, and it's a company called View, V-I-E. W movement, view movement. They've done great work for me. I have to tell you, they've really, really been terrific and they've boosted my viewership. So if you're looking to boost your own social media presence with short form videos, use the code DERSHOW, capital, all caps, D-E-R-S-H-O-W to save 15% on your service with them. And if you want to see more about this, you can see it in the link in the description below trying to get alternate slates of electors. Hey, that's what happened in the Tilden Hayes election. That's what happened in, in Hawaii in, I think, the 1960 election. That's what happened in 2000. Uh, that's what happened when Jamie Raskin, my former student, a Democrat who was on the impeachment uh, committee, that's what he tried to do in 2016 when his candidate narrowly lost the election. The Constitution provides for remedies. Now, the indictment says that, you know, president's entitled to do all these things that are lawful, but he's not entitled to do anything that's unlawful. But what makes it unlawful? Well, it's a conspiracy. But conspiracy is just a word. Conspiracy just means an agreement. You can have a conspiracy by 10 people to try to undo an election by demanding a recount. And the indictment admits that that's not criminal. And so, you know, having read the indictment, I think it's a I think it's an uphill fight for the prosecution to win this case. Now, they will win it. I mean, it's not uphill in the District of Columbia. They could have indicted him for, you know, eating a salami sandwich and a jury in the District of Columbia will convict. Um, we'll wait and see what the instructions are, uh, whether the instructions require the jury to find beyond a reasonable doubt based on evidence not based on surmise, but based on hard evidence that Donald Trump actually knew and believed that he had lost the election and uh, he just, just, just was lying through his teeth. We give tremendous leeway to politicians. Would any politician ever survive an investigation in which he was accused of saying something he didn't believe? Come on, of course not. So this is a very tough indictment. Um, it will result in a conviction, but it will very likely be reversed on appeal. Um, if there's no evidence that he believed and knew, if there's just speculation, I don't see how a court of appeals could affirm such a conviction.